Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video. It is an early one. But also, more importantly, welcome to Road to Ribs, episode number three. We're keeping these rolling. It is currently 5.15 in the morning. Today, I'm gonna be running you through exactly how I like to set up my days. They don't always go like this, but how I like to set up my days when I'm working an eight to five job full time, five days a week, and getting ripped all the way through. So like I said, I'm not always waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, but I do like to do it probably about two to three times a week, and just getting a day started with your workout. One, make sure you hit it, and two, just makes you feel great. First thing I like to do in the morning, I'll typically get some water and chug that. And sometimes, but not always, I will grab some sort of like quick carb source, pump a little energy, um, and honestly, these little mini Rice Krispie treats, 90 calories, straight carbs are so, so good. All right, weighing this morning was at 210 on the dot, but here recently I have been around the 208 range, um, and I'm really, really happy with that. More often than not, the earlier time that you wake up, the heavier you are, I don't know what kind of and math or science goes into that, but that's what I've seen from my experiences. I'm gonna dive into my rice crispy. Mmm, that's tasty. Yo, and let me know down below in the comments, what are you guys doing for work right now? What is your morning slash daily routine looking like? What is your daily grind? I wanna know in the comments down below. Let's have a little chat down there. And if you can do me a favor while you're down there, did you know that there's a new like animation on YouTube? Like if you click the button, it does this like, poo type thing, it's pretty sick. Check it out, press the like button. If you're new to the channel, become a subscriber. Like I said, drop in this road to rip. We're on episode three and it's been like two weeks. I'm gonna keep them consistent. It's gonna be a great series. Get involved now, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you're never missing a video. I'm gonna eat the rest of my Rice Krispie, drink some more water, and I'll see you at the gym. All right, we are back at the gym. We are back in our pre-gym ritual. We're back trying to bench today again, maybe. I haven't been benching. I've still been doing chest days and they've been actually really good, but I haven't been benching purely because of my shoulder a little impingement, I wanna call it. All around though, I think we're I think we're all right. We are changing up pre-workout because I am out of the harder than last time. Going with a classic, a standard of mine, the Nitroflex. Also, let me know in the comments down below what's your uh, favorite pre-workout you've tried. Mine has to still be the harder than last time. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been taking, what you guys have been enjoying because I'm open to try anything now two pieces of gum. I've been really enjoying the, uh, what is this, cotton candy? I don't know why, but I, but I do. I've been liking it, so there we go. Also, two good things about working out at 5 a.m. is one, it's not normally as packed as if you go like 5, 30, 6 p.m. And two, the people in there are like working, like actually putting the work in, putting the time in. So it's a little motivating to be around people like that as well. Some more food for thought if you're really debating waking up at 5 a.m. to work out or not. All right, 10 minutes on the Stairmaster, done. Warm up on bench, everything feels okay right now. I thought, oh, that was 225, it was painful, and I felt very weak. Sadly, we're just not back yet. All right, so surprisingly, even though bench does hurt, I found that like an incline dumbbell chest press hurts less, and I can still get a really good stretch and a really good workout from it, so that's what I'm gonna move into next. Maybe do four sets here because I couldn't really do it a lot of working sets on bench. Still gonna keep the weight relatively light, Really gonna focus on getting a stretch and not <laughs> re-hurting my shoulder. All right, I made the executive decision because of time. We're just gonna be focusing mainly on chest and shoulders today. Try and get that shoulder volume up. I know my shoulders are a little lacking. I've seen the comments. So definitely gonna put a little more emphasis on that in the coming weeks. First thing we're gonna do is a shoulder press movement. I actually uh, turn around the wrong slash opposite way on this machine, but it does give me a better mind muscle connection with my shoulders. I'm able to press into the movement and then we're gonna superset that which is dumbbell lateral raises I'm going for eight to ten good form reps on each one of these exercises all right not sure why i didn't talk about this in the gym but we just finished off with a superset some machine chest flies about 12 15 reps here and then into a new favorite of mine this lifestyle fitness uh shoulder raise machine 
I don't know, but I do enjoy it. All right, so physique check in for today. Honestly, this is my first morning workout this week and I'm feeling a little puffy, a little less of a pump and a little weak to be honest. I don't know if it's a different routine than what my body's been used to, but definitely not feeling my 100% self today, at least in the gym. Overall though, I do think definition is coming in slowly, but surely we are getting ripped on this road to rip. Still very, very happy with the weight loss and physique so far. Thinking I'm gonna be dropping calories down maybe adding in a little bit of cardio starting next week. We'll talk about that, well, next week. But right now, physique slowly coming together, strength staying about the same except for this morning and still pretty satisfied. Morning times are extremely hectic. I've been in the gym for now about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's get home and let's get some protein in us. All right, I am running so, so late already, but I'm quickly gonna take this concoction, which has been phenomenal. Uh, it is the bum whey isolate protein that I got in the last video. And it's probably one of the smoothest, like subtle, good tasting vanilla proteins I've had in a long time. Uh, then I put some creatine in here. And then uh, I mentioned this in the last video too, these like this Bonnie prebiotic fiber. I've been houdini in quite a bit if you catch my drift. Okay, real quickly, I forgot to mention the macros. Calories, we're sitting at 310 calories with 50 grams of protein already. That's a pretty good start. I'm gonna go ahead and guess right now, my calories and macros are gonna end up at like 2820 and 242 grams of protein. Keep that, put your guess down below. But all right, time to get ready for work. All right, changed and ready. Uh, fun fact, I have worn these exact shoes, Cole Haan zero grand knit shoes, and this belt off of Amazon uh, every single day to work since I started working. The only two things that change is the shirt and the pants. <laughs> Creature of habit, I guess. But it's currently like 7.25. Um, work starts at eight and I have about a 35, 40 minute drive. So let's get on the road. All right, and just like that, I, uh, well, changed shoes, changed outfit, kind of, and never even made it to the office yet. It's now like almost 9.30. Uh, my job recently has been requiring me to put out a lot of on-site fires. So it's been a little hectic here recently. I'll go into that a little more later, but anyone else just absolutely appalled by the price of gas right now. And they're out of regular gas, so I had to get the like medium grade. <sighs> Here goes probably 150 bucks, 120 bucks. We are finally at work and I just made my first meal. Honestly, it's such an easy, quick recipe that you can literally do anywhere. You have a microwave and the ingredients. This is like a, a Kodiak cake, a mug cake. Uh, I actually covered this in my last video. So if you haven't watched that one, definitely go watch that one. There's a couple other really good recipes in there, but I just quickly made that. I do have a food scale at work, so I'm able to utilize that and weigh everything out. And then over top of this, I think I'm going to, actually I know I'm going to, have one of these Dan and Light and Fit cups. This is a blueberry flavor. And I feel like it's almost like the icing on the mug cake. Oh, look at that, some chocolate chips in there too. Whew. It's literally chocolate chip blueberry pancakes in a bowl with really high protein, insanely good. All right, it is a little before 11 o'clock. We are at 605 calories for the day with 77 grams of protein already. That is phenomenal. I'm gonna finish this and get back to work. Mm. All right, the time is now about 12.30. I've been editing up this video and this video just went live. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely go do that. But during my lunch break, is probably the perfect time that I've found to. Yep, mobility work. If you have it already, it's definitely time to take 15, 12, 15 minutes out of your day and do some mobility work. I know it sucks and I was the biggest ne neglector of it, but it has been making a pretty big difference. So, <sighs> all right, 12 minutes and I am done. So like I said, when I am starting to do cardio, I might honestly walk on the treadmill today for like 15 minutes, but when I am starting to do my actual cardio, probably where I'm gonna be doing most of it at, 
I know I may have a little different scenario than what you may have, but everyone's going to be a little different. If you need to go outside and take a walk throughout your day, if you're working from home, maybe get like a little cheap bike you can use. There's plenty of ways to incorporate cardio or just moving in steps into your day. And honestly, if you're just going to do some mobility training throughout the day, you don't need anything besides maybe a carpet. So truthfully, no excuse to not get it done. Thank you for tuning in. Eat more stuff. All right, we are 15, 20 almost minutes in. Walking, slight incline, not really what I would call cardio, but getting a little heart rate up nonetheless. Now I just need to get changed and have a protein. And we're gonna be trying out two different protein bars today, but it's not just gonna be me. So obviously I'm not in my office, I'm in Ben's <laughs> office. All right, Ben, show him, the, show him your credentials. Let me see your protein bar drawer. Yeah. Look at all that. I'm a, I like these. They, they're, they're, they're good and they're, they're I really got them high. On they're high in protein mm -hmm. and, and um, you know lower in calories. The Costco brand. But these right here, let me tell you. <laughs> they might be vegan, but I don't care. They're the best tasting vegan protein bar I've had. They're probably the best bar I've had. You know, like that old late blaze potato chip. It's hard to eat just one. Just one. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I love him, man. All right, so Ben is the grumpy old man that works in the <laughs> office uh, next door. But he also is a fan of protein bars, so I figured we'll call yeah. this segment Protein Bars with Ben. Um, he's also a Georgia fan, if you can't tell by the massive G yeah. behind me. Yeah, slightly, huh? And it's, it's everywhere. All right, Ben, have you had either of these protein bars before? No, I've seen that one. I've never had either of them before. Either we have a Rip Van Waffle Protein and a Nick's Protein Bar. Good right there. The that, waffle? That, yeah. That you think be. it's Snickerdoodle flavor nah, too? That might be dangerous. The waffle one is 180 calories for 10 grams of protein. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. I wish, I wish there was more protein, but that, that's all right. This, and the Nick's is 160 grams for 14, or 160 calories for 14 grams of protein. Nah, that ain't bad either. That ain't bad. Open them both, break them in half, fry them, and compare. That's Ooh, pretty good that break. Looks, that looks good. Looks like nougat. I was like, I was like a waffle. That looks good. Uh -huh. I'll give you a little bit like that. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Which one gonna try first? Uh, let's try the the uh, the Nick's first. Nick's. Cheers. 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 Hey, what? Oh, nougat. <laughs> Chewy. That tastes just like a Snickers to me, though. Don't it? Minus the nuts. Yeah, minus the nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean a lot. How much is the uh, Costco one? It's twenty grams for. I mean, for two hundred calories. Yeah, that's not. Oh, my that's my. not far off. Snickerdoodle <laughs> Rip Van Waffle. What do you think about that? No, it's kind of crumbly, right? Like it's yeah, got like a little, a little dry, a little bit. Yeah, it's like got stuff in the middle, but it's not really. Yeah, I would. I would probably buy it. You would buy it. Are they different flavors? I don't like the. It leaves like a weird aftertaste in my mouth too. It's not terrible, but mm -hmm. I like this better though. Mm -hmm. Another person <laughs> added into anabolic eating just from uh, giving them little tidbits here and there. Yeah. Oh, he's he's also he's also eating cauliflower rice now. Aren't yeah, you? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm having to eat my humble pie, you know. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower I'm, rice. I, I'm watching too many of his videos. Is what's happening. Exactly. <laughs> They get to you, everyone. All right, I am back in my office. It is now 3.15 almost, which means it's almost my lunchtime. I just enjoy eating later in the day, especially if I'm training later in the day. It helps kind of space out my meals and get me ready for my workout. Now, I know my channel is about a lot of things, but one of them being unique ways and new recipes and different styles of eating, <sighs> but it's time for me to come clean. I have been eating just about the exact same thing every single day for lunch for like two years now, and I'm still not sick of it. So it consists of four things. One, organic mixed veg frozen from Costco. It is hands down my favorite vegetable, and it's just so easy to put in the microwave with cauliflower rice. I told you Ben got it from me. I eat this stuff literally every single day. Such a good volumizer, adds a lot of volume. And then the last two things vary sometimes, but it's just a protein source and a carb source. One of my all time favorites also from Costco. It is quite literally just packaged, grilled chicken, pre-cooked, ready to go. Take it out of here, put it in the microwave, heat it up, and you're ready to start eating. Protein source and then some sort of carb source, and I sometimes cut this out later on in a cut, but 
Really big fan of these pasta in a bag, the entire bag, 380 calories, a minute in the microwave and you're good to go. Same thing with the ready rice. Point of what I'm trying to get to is sometimes you just gotta do what is easiest, especially when you're working eight to five, you don't have a lot of time to prepare either after work or before work. You just need to have things on hand that you can eat that are healthy, that are filling, that are nutritious, and they're gonna hold you over throughout the day. So pretty much all of this stuff right here just turns into this right here. Here is my full bowl with everything in it. Pretty good size, if I do say so myself. Mm, definitely good, but definitely a little bland. And that's two other ways that I like to just change up the recipe just a little bit, is by one different kind of seasoning, or two different kind of sauces on top. Honestly, I flip between all the G Hue sauces or like mustard or like spicy mustard or stuff like that. All very low calorie, like under 10 calories per serving. This one I think has yeah, 10 calories. Now the macros in this meal, 415 calories and the protein bars with Ben came out to 260 calories for half of each one of those. Macros altogether are pretty solid too. 146 grams of protein already for the day. We are crushing it so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some G Hue's on top. I can do this because it's mine, I keep it in my mini fridge. <laughs> and typically I just sit and work while I eat my lunch. <sighs> We're finally home. Traffic, traffic, and more traffic. If you can't tell by these little itsy bitsy arms behind me, Gary's here. And it's her birthday tomorrow. I'll tell you what I really got her in the next Road Ripped episode, but we're ready to celebrate, right? All right, welcome back. It has been a couple hours. Perry, instead of a birthday cake, decided to get crumble cookie for her birthday. So yes, I tracked that. And then before I left for work, I wanted to have a little lunch dessert. Yes, I am someone who has a dessert after every single meal of the day. And so I just had like a chewy protein bar from Costco and then a Winnie and Larry's complete field bar. Those are really, really good. All right, so now we're sitting at around 2,300 calories with 176 grams of protein. That is another good thing about getting your protein in high early. I was able to have some crumble cookie and not feel like an absolute piece of shit. Actually, no, I do feel like a piece of shit, but we're able to still hit our protein tonight too. But I'm keeping it very simple and kind of low carb tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna do some of this Pure Vita vegetable medley stuff from Costco once again. If you're not shopping there, get on it. Um, I'm gonna toss in the air fryer, why not? And then I have some steak chunks also from Costco. And I'm probably gonna chop them up a little thinner and then put them on the stove tonight. Simple, easy, I freaking crashed when I got home. Something about just like training in the morning and then my day has been so hectic at work. I was pretty much going nonstop for 13 hours today straight. Oh yeah, baby. And then I went for another 13 seconds on her. So here is dinner for tonight. It's not cooked yet, but what it is, it looks like this this right here and honestly it looks pretty pretty delicious i just cooked everything up separately then put it in a pan and i added some cauliflower rice on the bottom because why not add a little extra volume where you can to top it off like third time today i've used gu's i think it is their steak sauce is only five calories per tablespoon and it's really really good tastes almost exactly like the a1 steak sauce it's hot well, let's give it a bite Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's like really, really good. I feel like I've been doing this a lot recently where I've just been throwing stuff in a pan or in the air fryer together and they've all been like really delicious meals here recently. And I only seasoned this stuff with just a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, and some coconut aminos. And this is what I ended up with, a pretty nice sized bowl. Definitely a lot of protein in this, haven't looked at it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot. And it's quite delicious. Mm, 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 mm. All right, and dinner came out to a measly 434 calories, almost 2,800 calories overall. Pop into the macros, we're at 233 grams of protein, so I know I'm good on my protein, but doesn't mean I can't finish this and have a little dessert. All right, truthfully, I am stuffed, but I wanted to make a dessert and explain this nice little recipe to you guys that I've been having for dessert quite often. So first things first, I used some powdered almond butter, chocolate flavor. Then instead of using water, I actually decided to use Dan Light and Fit Greek yogurt. 
what this does is one, add a really good fluffy consistency, and two, adds a little more protein. Then went ahead and grabbed two lightly salted rice cakes, which are only 35 calories. I added some good, good strawberry jam. So this is no sugar added jam, and it's only five calories per serving. That is so, so good. And the flavor is a little lacking, but overall still a fantastic choice and definitely, definitely worth it. And like I said, here is the finished product. Look like a nice pair of titties. Um, um, I am, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I've been watching this Formula One show on Netflix. Oh my God, it's so good. Like so, so good. The videography is amazing. The story is incredible. It's all really nice. And if you have surround sound, oh, next level. So go ahead and eat this. Mmm, yes. Yeah, wow. Not only is that an extremely well balanced and like high, high volume dessert, it's also super easy to make and it's very, very tasty. Do you remember what your guess was for the calories at the beginning of the video? We're actually sitting slightly higher at 2920. Still under my 3000 calorie kind of goal for right now. Um, and that's pretty, pretty good. We've had a lot of food today. I feel very, very full. I feel like the protein's gonna be right on point to what I guessed as well. What I, I guess 242 grams of protein, right? We are at 242 grams of protein. Really, really solid. Also nicely balanced fats, 93 grams of fats, 314 grams of carbs. All around a pretty balanced meal. Hey, Natty, you're on the counter and this is where I eat food. Yes, is that anabolic? You're gonna get big and strong. All right, so you've seen my full day while working an eight to five full-time job. Kind of how I work, kind of how I get stressed out and how I manage that. Also, how I try to prepare things that are readily available at my office, at my place of work, so that I don't have to worry about, think about, and have to pre-plan a lot of my stuff. Having a fridge at the office really, really helps. Having snacks there, having a ton of <laughs> prepackaged meat there, having my frozen vegetables there, having sauces there, having a food scale there, all of those things make dieting so much easier when it's just all right there. I don't have to think about packing a lunch box every day the night before and all that stuff. Um, you can do that. I mean, a, a lot of people do that and it works great for them. For me, I found this is the easier way. So this video is how it looks like when I train in the mornings. If you guys wanna see another video of kind of how I structure it when I train in the afternoons, I'll be more than happy to do that. This meal, a little more Formula One on Netflix is going to wrap up Road Drip episode three. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed for episode four because it's gonna be a little travel, how to stay ripped, how to get ripped while you travel type vlog for somewhere for Perry's B-Day. And it's gonna be, as always, a good one. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna watch any more of my content, I'll leave a video up here and up here for you to check out next. But for me and this one right now, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.